What's up guys, today I'm not only showing you all of the suits in Spider-Man PS4, but also how to get them. And I'm going to do this as quick as possible, so instead of talking, let's just get into it. Well by the way, if you don't know how to get the tokens required for each suit, head over to my video on tokens in the description and then come back. It should pop up on the screen right now too. Also I keep getting asked how to use your suit powers, you simply push L3 and R3. And last thing, real quick, you can mix and match the powers with different suits. Okay, sorry for all of the tips, I just want everybody to know all of these before we start, but uh, alright, let's get started. Okay, so I'm trying to go in order as best as I can, so suit number one, which is the classic suit damaged. This isn't the first when you look at the list, but it's the first in appearance. The next two are kind of out of order too, but this suit has no suit powers at all, it's just a tutorial suit and serves no real purpose other than looking cooler because it's ripped up, so no, you don't need anything to unlock it. Next we have the classic suit repaired. Basically the same thing except it's not ripped up and it comes with the power web blossom. It's a pretty decent power, you need two backpack tokens and two crime tokens, so one of the easiest suits to get. The advanced suit is part of the story so you don't need anything to obtain it. It comes with battle focus which rapidly generates focus for a short time. This is actually pretty good if you're in need of your focus meter rapidly going up, like for one of the challenges where you have to use a certain amount of finishers, or if you really need to heal. The Noor suit unlocks at level 3 and you'll need one base token and two backpack tokens. It comes with the sounds of silence power which makes enemies not call for backup when they're alerted. This is probably my least favorite suit. It's not very good looking and the power is kind of useless, it's only good if you're trying to silently take out a base, but even then you don't really need that power. I'd say that the only time it really serves any purpose is when you're doing the challenge for silently taking out a base in a certain amount of time, then it might help you not get alerted. The Scarlet Spider Suit comes with the Hollow Decoy power that spawns multiple decoys to distract enemies and then stun them. This unlocks at level 4 and you need 3 crime tokens and 2 landmark tokens. This power is kinda good, it's good for distracting enemies, but again there's other powers that I would much rather have. Next is the Spider Armor Mark II suit, which unlocks at level 5 or 6 and requires 1 base token, 1 landmark token, and 2 research tokens. It uses Spider Armor which makes you bulletproof. This is pretty good when you're handling a lot of enemies, especially some of the base missions, and especially the base missions with the soldiers, because those can be pretty hard, or the crimes with the soldiers where they have the trucks with the turrets shooting at you, because whenever you go to stop them at a crime and they have a truck there, it really hurts you. So if you go into there with this power activated, you'll definitely be good. The Secret War Suit unlocks at level 7 and requires 2 backpack tokens, 1 base token, and 2 research tokens. The Arms Race Power uses an EMP to stun enemies and disable their weapons. This suit would be greatly used for the same reason I just said for the last one. Next is the Stark Suit, which is the Homecoming suit, and it actually comes with the Spider Bro power seen in the Homecoming movie. And the Spider Bro is actually pretty dang strong. This is one of my favorite suits because it looks really good. I don't know what it is, but it just looks really HD, really saturated, it just looks perfect. And it comes with the Spider Bro, which is a really solid power. The Negative Suit is another really cool looking suit, and it comes with a Negative Shockwave power. For this one, you need to be level 11, and you need one base token, one research token, and two landmark tokens. This is probably another one of my favorites too. It looks really cool at nighttime, and since 70% of this game at least is nighttime, it's a really good suit to use. The Electrically Insulated Suit requires one base token, three crime tokens, and one research token, and you need to be level 13. And it comes with the Electric Punch, which should be pretty self-explanatory. The Spider Punk suit is also one of my favorites, probably in my top 5 suits, and if you pre-ordered the game, you should already have this one. But if not, you'll need to be level 16, get 2 backpack tokens, 3 crime tokens, and 2 landmark tokens. It comes with the Rock Out power, which blasts enemies away in a pretty wide radius, and it looks pretty cool. The Wrestler outfit requires level 19, 2 backpack tokens, 2 base tokens, and 2 research tokens. It comes with the King of the Ring, which allows you to web throw enemies without having to web them up. Just like some of the past suits that I was talking about, this one is really good with some of the challenges, especially the ones where you have to web throw enemies. You can do it really fast with this ability. The Fear Itself suit comes with the Quad Damage ability, or power, which is one of the strongest powers in the game. If you punch a basic enemy, they usually die in one hit, and the Riot Shield guys usually die in two hits. You need to be level 21, and you need 6 challenge tokens, 3 research tokens, and 2 base tokens. I haven't tried this power on one of the big guys yet, the big buff guys, so if any of you have or do it, let me know down in the comments. The Stealth Big Time suit requires you to be level 23, and 2 base tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 3 land mark tokens. It uses blur projector which creates a distortion field. I'm not really sure how this one works. I've tried it before and I just, it didn't really seem like it did anything. 
If any of you guys know, again, let me know down in the comments. I mean, I've used it, but I, I just couldn't really do much with it. The Spider Armor Mark III uses titanium aloe plates, which reflects all bullets except sniper rounds back at the enemy. So don't try to block this with a sniper because it's not going to work. You need to be level 26, and you need 2 base tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 4 crime tokens. The Spider-Man 2099 Black Suit requires you to be level 29 and comes with low gravity. You'll also need 2 base tokens, 4 crime tokens, and 4 research tokens. The Iron Spider Suit is the suit featured in Avengers Infinity War, and it's one of the pre-order bonuses. If you didn't pre-order it, you'll need to be level 31, 4 crime tokens, 3 challenge tokens, and 3 base tokens. It uses the Iron Arms power, which was also in the movie. And if you want to know more about this suit, I actually made a separate video on it, which will be in the description and it'll also be up on the screen. The Velocity suit is the final pre-order bonus suit, and if you didn't pre-order the game, you'll need to have 2 backpack tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 2 landmark tokens, and you'll need to be level 33. It comes with the Blitz power, which makes you run faster and knock down enemies when you run towards them. It also knocks people back when you punch them with it. I'm not sure how much more damage it does, if it even does more damage, but it knocks them back. The Spider-Man Mark IV suit uses Defender Shield, which absorbs all damage while being used. It requires level 35, 4 base tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 3 landmark tokens. The Spirit Spider. This is probably the one that a lot of people came here for because it is one of the most insane looking ones. Just don't use it when doing story missions because it just looks ridiculous. There was a couple like emotional scenes that I had this on and I just took it off because I couldn't take the game seriously. It doesn't look like you're Spider-Man and then when Peter starts talking it just looks so dumb. But other than that, this suit just looks insane. You need to be level 37 and you'll need 6 base tokens, 6 challenge tokens, and 6 crime tokens. They went with 666 for the tokens. It comes with the Spirit Fire Power, which is also a pretty sick power. It covers everything with flames and is just really cool looking. This suit also has to be one of my top 5 favorites. Now we have the Spider-Man 2099 White Suit. We had the Spider-Man 2099 Black Suit earlier, but this one is actually completely different. It has a completely different power. He basically just punches everyone and sends them flying. The other one just slowed down gravity. And his power is called the Concussive Strike Power. You'll need to be level 39 for this one, and you need 4 base tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 4 crime tokens. Now we have the Vintage Comic Book Suit. The Vintage Comic Book Suit is another really cool looking suit that you probably don't want to use in the story because it'll ruin some of the immersion. This suit is really amazing how they made this work. You wouldn't think this like 2D looking suit would work in here, but it actually looks really really cool. You need to be level 41 and you'll need 4 backpack tokens, 4 challenge tokens, and 4 crime tokens. It comes with the quips power, which is pretty useless unless I just don't know how to use it. I just really don't know what it does, and the description of the power really doesn't give you any help. The 23rd suit is the last stand suit, which requires level 45 and 20 crime tokens. The power that it comes with is Unrelenting Fury, which makes your attacks unblockable even for shield enemies. Another really solid power. Okay, the next few suits are kind of spoiler-ish. I'm not going to actually say any spoilers, but you might want to wait to see some of them because some of them are featured in the story, but again, I'm not going to give any actual spoilers about them. I'll save the story spoiler ones for last and I'll give you another warning before then, just in case, but if you don't want to see any of these, I'll give you a second to turn off the video. Next is the homemade suit. This is the first suit seen in Spider-Man Homecoming, and it's also one of my favorites because it's just made very well in this game and looks really high quality. It doesn't come with any powers, so you'll need to slap on a power from a different suit, but the only requirement is to find all of the backpacks in the game. Once you find all of the backpacks in the game, you will get this suit. Now we have the dark suit, and again, this one doesn't come with a power. It's a really cool looking suit, and you'll need to complete all of the Black Cat stakeout missions. Once you complete those missions, you'll get the suit, just like the backpack one with the homemade made suit, you just need to complete these missions. Okay, so here's the story spoiler suits. Those last ones were just kind of side missions, not really spoilers. These ones aren't really spoilers either, they're just featured in the story. One of them is a bit more of a spoiler, but if you don't want to see them, just leave now. Or you can just look away while I describe how to get them. Here's a nice clip of Spider-Man on a train while you decide if you want to leave or not. Okay, so if you're still here, you're not playing any games, man. I appreciate you for being here this long. This next one isn't much of a spoiler, but it does appear in the story. It's also the only suit I don't have because you need 100% completion of the entire game. Every story, every mission, 
side mission, and objective. Every little thing on the game. I'm almost there, but not quite yet. It uses the equalizer, which makes everyone go down in one hit, including yourself. I don't think I'm going to look up any gameplay of this, because I kind of want to see what this is. It sounds pretty interesting. I don't know if you die too, or you literally just fall down or what, but it sounds really interesting, and it's just a really joke of a suit. By the way, it's called the Undies Suit. I, for I almost for completely forgot to say what it was called. It's called the Undies Suit. Last, but certainly not least, is the Anti-Ox Suit. Which again, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but seeing it, I guess, is a little bit of a spoiler. It's probably the coolest looking suit in the game, at least in my opinion it is. It comes with resupply, which constantly refills your nano mesh or spider webs, so you can continuously shoot. The only way to get it is to complete the game. You don't need 100% completion like the last suit, you just need to complete the story. Okay guys, that's all I got for you. You have no idea how hard I've been grinding for this video to try and compete with the bigger channels that got this game early. Hopefully this video was relatively fast. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with a friend. I'm really curious to know which suit or suits are your favorites, so let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.